Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Lincoln Forster, and today we're going to be revisiting Star Wars Dark Forces. Uh, we're going to be going over how to install Dark XL again. Um, there's a fix that I found out about that we're going to install as well. Kind of fixes uh, some issues with Dark XL. And I'm also going to be going over how to uh, install Reshade onto this game and implement a ray tracing global illumination shader by Pascal Glitcher. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Everything you're going to need is going to be in the description below. And the game, Dark Forces, I have it installed through uh, Steam. You should be able to do this uh, however else you have it installed through GOG or wherever else it should still work for you. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to hop over to the browser. And I want to show you what you need to download. All right, guys. So first thing you need to get is the XL Engine Release 02. You can get that from archive.org. You also need to get OpenAL. Download the Windows installer here. This is the fix I was telling you guys about. Just come over here to the 1.1 and download the dark xl-fix.zip. Also for reshade, come to reshade here. We're going to go to download and download the latest version here. And for Pascal Glitcher's uh, shader here, you'll need to donate at least $5 to gain access to uh, the uh, Patreon section on the Discord here. This will give you access to the reshade. Um, and let's see here. So this is the latest version. And I also have regrade beta 11 and also grab physical DOF beta 0.0. Because I'm going to be putting all those in uh, as soon as we start dealing with the uh, uh, global illumination shader. Um, so let's go ahead and move over to where we have our game installed and where our mods are located and get started. All right, so my game is over here on the left. I got my mods over here on the right. Uh, you might notice up here it says uh, common alt. That's only because I've got two fresh installs of Dark Forces, because I'm going to be doing something else with the uh, other installs. So yours will be under uh, Steam, Steam Apps Common, if you've got it installed through Steam, of course. Um, but mine that I'm going to be dealing with is in my Common Alt folder that I created, so I can keep them separate. Uh, so first, we're going to move over to the Excel engine here. So you're going to open up that folder, copy everything inside of it and paste it into your dark forces folder just like that you also need to get the open al file copy that paste it in here go ahead and run the open al file you'll see this pop up right here just click ok and it says installation complete that's it that's all you have to do there now we'll open up the xl engine launcher And when it launches, you're going to pick Dark Forces here, and then we're going to browse to where we have our Dark Forces located at. So, again, Steam Library, Steam Apps. The one I'm messing with is in my common. All yours will be in your, in your, in your common. And you can see the Dark Forces folder right here. Uh, you, If you click Dark Forces, this will not work. You have to click the Game folder inside of your Dark Forces folder for it to work. And then click OK. And then go ahead and hit the X button. Don't click play. Go ahead and hit the X button. That is set up now. Now go to your Dark XL uh, application launcher here. Uh, and we're going to go to properties, compatibility. You want to make sure you have this set to run in Windows XP Service Pack 2 compatibility mode. Uh, if you don't have it set up like that, it's going to error out when you try to launch the game and you won't get to launch it. Um, so with that said, uh, we're going to go ahead and start the game and I'll show you kind of how to set it up before we hop into reshape. All right, guys. So once you double click that dark XL application file, you'll be met with this screen right here, hop over to your settings. And then the main thing you're going to be focusing on is the video resolution. Just make sure you bump it up to the resolution that you want and then click okay. Uh, so this verifies that everything is working as you can see. Alpha build 9.50 is down here. So we still need to implement the fix. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now before we get into reshade. Go ahead and exit. And we'll back up over here. So we'll go into the dark Excel fix folder here. You're gonna copy both of these files. 
paste them into your Dark Forces directory, go into the DOS box folder, paste them in there as well, and also into the game folder. And you don't need to do anything to the files to come um, set up so you don't have to access them or anything like that. Uh, and then we're going to launch Dark XL again. I'll show you the difference down here on the bottom right. As you can see now, it says Alpha 9.50 Fix 1.1. So that's how you know when the fix is installed. So now we're going to back out and we're going to get into the reshade. So I'll hop over to my reshade folder now. And we got the latest version right here. So we're going to double click it. We're going to browse. Browse for your game. Uh, make sure it's in common. Dark Forces. Yep. So you're going to click Dark XL application click open and next you want to go with direct x9 up here click next now this says d3 d9 dot dll already exists that's because of the fix so the only thing you have to do is click back and then we'll come over here and just delete that file come back over click next make sure again it's direct x9 click next as you can see we're moving forward now Click skip, uncheck all, and then check all, and then next, and it's going to install all of the shaders for us. Should be fairly quick here. Yes, and it's done. And now um, there is a preset that you want to download that we're going to install in here. So it should just be the RTGI preset. Uh, copy that, paste it in here. Okay, so we got that set up. Now we need to install the uh, ray tracing global illumination. Uh, it's fairly easy. So I'm moving into that folder for myself. So we have the reshade GI beta 0 0.3, 2.2. Double click, copy both shaders and texture folders. Go over to here in your Dark Forces directory with the reshade shaders folder. Double click in there and you're going to paste these two on there. So we're done with that. Now I'm going to add in the regrade beta copy folder, paste again, replace and the depth of field here, copy, paste, replace. And we're done. We've installed reshade. We've installed the uh, ray tracing global illumination shader. And so now all that's left is for us to launch the game and configure reshade. Double click that icon again. It's going to load up. You're going to see up here at the top, it's loading, it's compiling all of the shaders and it might take a minute, but it will finish. You can't actually run reshade until that is completed. All right, so that took roughly, I don't know about five to 10 seconds for me for it to compile everything. Um, and so now what we want to do is we can press home, skip tutorial. And then what you're going to want to do is up here where the arrow is, just click it and it's going to add in that um, RTGI preset that you threw in there. And as you can see, it's kind of changed things a little bit. Um, and then we should be good to go. So all we need to do now is hit home again to close out. We're going to click launch. We're going to create a new agent here. Yes, begin mission. Play on hard. Click OK. Start. All right. So one thing real quick. Before I get started, let me take this guy out. As you can see, the floors are shiny. They're, they've got reflections to them. That's what the ray tracing shader does. Um, and you're good to go. You can just have fun and play the game. And I mean, it runs it runs pretty good, even with the uh, reshade on. Um, but yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much it. That's gonna be that's gonna be the video. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, uh, subscribe and turn the bell icon so you know when I upload new videos. 
you have any comments or questions or anything like that, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to respond to you. And with that said, I'm going to get out of here. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next one. Later.